Hello, Joe here, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up Facebook authentication within your Firebase project. So I have a Firebase project set up here, and I have registered an app, which I have called Fitness Tracker. I've registered a web app, but the same principles apply if you're using a iOS app, an Android app, or a Unity app. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the authentication section of your project and you will need to enable some sign-in methods. So I have already enabled, by default none are enabled, I've already enabled uh, email and Google. So these are the easiest uh, and they don't require any third-party setup. By that I can just set everything up uh, within here. Uh, I can just click enable and I get that authentication method within my app. However, this is not the case with Facebook. So when we enable Facebook authentication, you can see I have to enter an app ID, an app secret, and I have to add this OAuth redirect. So I'm going to show you how we do this. It's pretty simple, but I did find some gaps in the documentation, which is the reason why I'm, I'm making this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a new Facebook application. So you can just go over to developers.facebook.com, uh, log into your Facebook account, uh, and then you can create a new app. So I'm creating a new app here, and I'm just gonna call this test application, but you can call it what you like. And this is gonna give me, this is gonna give me two thirds of the information I need. Straight away, right off the bat, I'm gonna be able to get the app ID and app secret. So this is the dashboard section for my new application test app. So if I click on settings, basic in the left hand menu, I can very quickly grab my application ID and paste this into app ID here. And I can show my app secret and I will delete this after. So you should make sure your app secret is that it is kept secret. Uh, and I can paste it straight into here. However, it's not so clear where we have to enter this information here, where we enter the OAuth redirect URI. So I'm just gonna copy it. It's not obvious that there's anywhere here. That is because, and this is where I kind of got stuck, I started pasting it into app domains, um, uh, scrolling around here, but I couldn't find any place to actually paste it. Uh, and that is because we need to add a new product and that product is login. So at the moment, this application doesn't have Facebook login enabled. So I just click set up here, and this is gonna enable it. I'm gonna select web, but you can select whatever version is appropriate for your project. Uh, the URL of my site is gonna be localhost. I'm not sure that matters. And that is pretty much everything done. Now I don't need to worry about uh, setting up the Facebook SDK because Firebase is gonna take care of that for me. So I'm just gonna click next to go through all of these. So I get to miss all of this out, which is fantastic. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click settings. And then within settings, you can see valid OAuth redirect URI. And this is where I paste in my Firebase URI. So remember it's products, Facebook login, settings, uh, and I've added, I've added this Facebook login product by pressing the plus arrow. And then all I do is save changes. And that, everybody, is it. I now have Facebook enabled. So it is pretty simple, but like I said, it's not necessarily enti entirely intuitive. So um, hopefully now uh, you can go forward and make your application, application and good luck in what you are making.